Good morning! It's Saturday, November 26th. Can't even believe I'm saying it. I'm Rose. And I'm Rhoda. And this is the Something Good Morning Show. Good morning, all. Hello. <sighs> Can you believe it's November 26th? We are less than one month away from Christmas. I hope you got those Christmas countdown calendars going because it is full steam ahead. I think it said like 29 days someone posted today was how many days till Christmas? Mm -hmm. 29. Yes. I felt like it was just September and now here we are. It's Christmas. Yes. So it just feels like this really greased slide that we're getting into and it's gonna oh, go boy. really fast and so I mean like I am picturing something from like Christmas vacation and you just all of a sudden crash into Christmas into the parking lot and there's sparks and uh, you get to the picture that's why you really have to schedule things really well yes so. our calendar is already very full yes every week but it's taken. fun it's just you have to be strategic especially if you are buying presents for a lot of people, which it's not all about the presents. No. Today we are gonna be highlighting some small businesses because it is Small Business Saturday. Hey. It's easy to get caught up and Black Friday and Cyber Monday and um, you know, depending on where you live, I'm sure you have some really great local businesses and I mean, we, whenever we go somewhere, even you know where we live, we always love to scope out the local coffee shops and local eateries and um, but it is easier to highlight those who do have online businesses that are right. small businesses. So everybody you can don't enjoy need their to buy everything this weekend. And Just you don't be strategic. What do you actually yes. need? Don't mm -hmm. need to hit every sale. Mm -hmm. That's not the point. But yes. we'll highlight a few businesses we think are worth supporting. Yes. So for fashion, I know you've touched on as soon as it was rainy, you touched on your winter uniform. Yes. So your Her leggings, winter, sweatshirt. Yeah, so it tends to be till June basically here. Yeah, kind of an airy uniform where mm -hmm. it's just like sweatshirts, leggings. Yes. Um and it's, so go ahead. Yeah, basically every year we stock up at Airy on <laughs> one of their many sweaters or sweatshirts, but and that's the yeah, that's what it is. Leggings, sweatshirt. And we kind of like those sweatshirts that sort of feel like a blanket and then just come to like mid thigh. It just like throw it on, you feel nice and cozy, almost like a, a blanket is just surrounding you and cuddling you all day. Oh boy. But <laughs> don't know if I've gone that extreme. I have to look somewhat I, presentable. Okay. Well, and that's what we want to know is do you want to look like you're not drowning in your sweatshirt? Because one of the things we've noticed is that cropped those Sherpa jackets are in and Lots of cropped stuff. there's so much Sherpa stuff you know this time of year but now it's like cropped Sherpa so it gives a little bit more style mm -hmm. um but do you are you okay with wearing leggings and showing mm -hmm. your bottom your bum yes or uh, do you need it covered yeah I'm more like team how covered, confident are but... you yeah I mean because the whole goal is I mean, also just want to stay warm so right. you know the more how practical are parts the of our body surface. that are covered, the better. Yeah. So anyways, now moving on to food, we have a few things to find out from you. We're curious. One of the things that we always encounter every year is when we bring out the ginger ale. Well, we should say the eggnog. The eggnog. Yes. Eggnog is what spurs it on. And then, you know, we just add a little bit of ginger ale and we always get the question, why are you adding ginger ale? Mm -hmm. it's, well, back in the day, it used to be Sprite, I think, 7-Up. I blocked it. I blocked it. When we were growing up. Now, we we don't do that. Now, we do um, Zevia ginger yes. ale yes. for a healthier option with organic eggnog. Mm -hmm. But yeah, people always thought it was funny that we did some type of soda with our ginger ale. But that's just what we did when we grew up. Now we have it with our coffee too. But mm -hmm. do you? Is it you guys do that? Do you do like a a ginger ale with your, like half and half with your eggnog? Because I just have it's to say, delicious. you know, the other weird thing that we've been told we do is adding ketchup to grilled cheese sandwiches. Well, dipping your so, grilled cheese in ketchup. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, that's, that's just, just one how of those we things. roll. Yeah. So and then also, I don't know if you guys have heard of. The prebiotic soda well there seems to be a trend of these prebiotic sodas and just all kinds of beverages mm -hmm. coming out to the market but um anyways the brand poppy has a lower in sugar prebiotic soda and some fun flavors mm -hmm. and so um 
today we're gonna try out a ginger lime mm. prebiotic soda. Um, so I'm excited to try that, but curious if you guys have got into that space, if you have a favorite, I think I've made other brand it once. But, yeah. Um, I need to give it another try. I didn't like love it the first time. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's just the flavor. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know how it is. There's like a thousand carbonated drinks out there you could be drinking. So usually I'm just like, give me the sparkling water and I'm good, but. Oh, you're so good. Yeah, she was just like, give yeah. me the sparkling water. Maybe add a little with lime in her. Good. Lime. <laughs> you can make your own ZV at home with some stevia. Yes. Oh, we the, do that penguin. All the time. We need to highlight the penguin in our favorite things list. Okay. Make your own carbonated water. Yes, yes. Okay, and also, tis the season, mold cider or hot chocolate? We've got to know. Hot chocolate. Definitely team hot chocolate. I will say, I did try to make mold cider the other night, and it was oh, delicious. You wow. have to be in the mood. You know, but it smells delicious. You have to say it just it permeates make Christmas nice. into the whole house. Yes. So there is that. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a two for one. But so. I'm still, if it's chocolate, I'm there. So. Okay. And for our fitness segment, we just mm -hmm. wanted to highlight a small business that we are also a part of. Yeah. And that's Elite Fuel. Yay. And it is one of the ways we fuel ourselves mm -hmm. every day um, we have Vanna the aminos and the aminos are great to take during a workout after a workout you just add a little of this add fruit punch concoction to water and is absolutely delicious mm -hmm. um, it helps with build your lean tissue muscle it absolutely does and even on days you don't work out you can still take it and it'll yep. help support mm -hmm. um, preserving that lean muscle tissue yes. and if you're pregnant or you find yourself um, you know, if you're dealing with swelling, this is great yes. also to take to help reduce swelling. Mm -hmm. It's just great for a myriad of yeah. things. Yes. It's awesome. And then, I mean, Elite Fuel has a whole lineup of great clean supplements. It is, little caveat, it is um, our brother's company, but that, that makes sure that we know what's in it and we totally trust him so we can feel good about telling you about it because we know everything in it is like next level. Mm -hmm. So the other amazing product we wanted to highlight, there's many things in the line, but this is Goat Whey. So this is the vanilla flavor, but this literally is the best protein ever, especially if you can't do cow whey, which many people cannot, gives them a lot of bloating and stomach pain and kind of weighs you down. This is like so light. Mm -hmm. We literally know the farmer that has the goats and um, that makes this, and it's just 15 minutes away. Everything he does is grass-fed, grass-finished. It's next level. And this protein um, is just three ingredients. It's just the goat whey concentrate, just natural vanilla powder flavor, um, and then um, the stevia. So that is literally it that's in here. And like we said, we both take it. It's so easy on our stomachs and obviously gluten-free, soy-free, all the things. Um, and you can make like pancakes with it, protein pancakes, protein balls. You can just have it with water and mm -hmm. a shaker cup after a workout. But you don't have to be like an athlete to be taking this. Anyone can take it if you take protein. And having high protein in your diet is definitely a big deal. Yes, yes. Wow, you should really sell like Leaf Heal products. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it is great. Um, so they are having a sale this weekend through yeah. Monday, 15% off. But yes, so that's great. And then for faith and inspiration, what are yeah. we really liking? Yeah, well, I will say that I don't actually, I've always wanted one of these. It's the Hosanna Bibles, Hosanna Revival Bibles. And they are beautiful on the outside. Like, I think they're like hand painted, some of them. Wow. Um, but they're just gorgeous. But the great thing about them is that they have these large margins on the side. So there's plenty of room to be taking notes as you're reading the Bible and just highlighting things. Because sometimes, just a normal Bible, it's very hard to like, oh, I want to remember this about that. Like, you can write it in a journal, but it's nice to just have it in the Bible you're reading. Yes. So I kind of have my eye on that. I really like to get one of those. Um, but like I said, they're just beautiful pieces of artwork, basically, and but very practical as well because you're going to be using it all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe I'll see if they're having a big sale. Yeah. I think they're having some kind of sale, but 
Yeah, I want to check them out as well. Yeah. Okay, and so for our finds now, so a few small businesses we want to highlight. First of all, why don't you show the fine yes. folks what you're wearing? Can you read that? It says festive, and this is from Ivy and Cloth. So we just found them recently, stumbled upon them on Instagram, mm -hmm. and then when they're having their Black Friday sale on the Christmas stuff, they actually had an early Black Friday sale last week, and I got in on that and got this fun sweatshirt that says festive. It's it's nice because it's not like fuzzy on the inside. It's like terry cloth kind, oh, and one of their tend to run a little warm, yes. so this is great for me. And it's just cute, and like, it's fun, and it's... It's Ooh, not like simple. over the top, you yes, know. Yes, exactly. Like, and then, but I have to. Well, I we hope both you guys have... noticed this situation. Melikalikimaka. Yes, I, you know, just have to hold on to Hawaii, keep Hawaii in my heart, and so this is one way I do it. Well, let's be let's be real. You have one too. We both got but them. It was just too hard. It's kind of kitschy. One weekend. Yeah, it just, I mean, let's just wear all the Christmas things, mm -hmm. all the fun things till Christmas. Why not? We could all use a little more Mary, so. Yes. Um, and then I wanted to highlight oh, what do you have this there? candle oh. brought to us by Ooh. Girl Gone Green. <laughs> oh, yes. As our many small businesses are. <laughs> but um, this is the Brooklyn Candle Studio. And is it that what was smells delicious. Yes. Oh, it's okay. called Christmas tree, but they have all different kinds. And do they have like a, a cookie dough kind of I um, sugar know. cookie? Mm. That's I'm sure I they do that smell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I was just looking on their website, and they have like these different um, like locale smells. You know, oh, like Catskill Catskill oh. Mountains, or you know. So I was feeling like. Oh wait, we have. Yes. <laughs> Adventure waits in this candle. I don't know. But it's good to breathe in, right? Yes, exactly. It's sustainable soy wax. It is a cotton wick and there's no lead. Perfect. Um, Valley yeah. Pre. Watch out for those things. candles this season. Those are oh, just full of toxins. We could go on about that. But yes, you got it. It may smell good, but... Those chemicals, if you can see the chemicals entering the body. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you definitely have to watch out for candles yeah. um, and make sure too that they're using, you know, good essential oils um, or perfumes. Yeah, so there's I no mean, lead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's no phthalates If you stuff. see the word fragrance, run. <laughs> so. And then, um, should we talk right. about... Oh, what do you got there? Oh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Do the purity. Well, we have to highlight purity coffee. Yes, coffee, coffee, coffee. I mean, we're all about our coffee, but mm -hmm. especially when it's mold-free, mycotoxin-free, it's um, organic, it is Swiss water processed for the decaffeinated, like literally everything you want mm -hmm. in a coffee to make it sure it. you're getting all the actual benefits. There's not going to be benefits if you're drinking the stuff that's full of chemicals, mm -hmm. but this one is great and it tastes mm -hmm. amazing. This is the dark roast, which I prefer as do I. Um, and our sister, once again, girl, girl gone green, <laughs> she introduced us to this coffee and it's been a game changer. We love it. Mm -hmm. And I think they even have some like, um, Christmas holiday blends yes. out now. So that's yes. only for a limited time. So check them out. I think they're having a really good sell as well, like 20% off or something and free shipping. Mm -hmm. So look at look them up. We'll have all the details below, but this is our favorite coffee. And it's absolutely true because normally I just was never a fan of having coffee at home until purity. It's mm, full stop said. until purity. Enough said. Enough said. So I'm just going to put that out there. So it has a really good, like strong flavor, mm -hmm. just all the things so it doesn't taste like this watered down home coffee mm -hmm. so the other thing is now you heard me go on and on about cultivate what matters and so I just wanted to show you a few exciting things things for the new year 2023 getting all organized planned out their power go sheets planner okay now <laughs> <laughs> and i'm super excited by Ooh. season by season a daily planner they mm. finally came out with a daily planner and oh, i'm really? so excited to use it because this is really what has been missing from my life and so I'll have um to check that out. yeah i am really excited about uh -huh. putting that i think they're having really a sale good use too. 
Of course they are. They're all heavy, But are you guys like virtual planners or you need pen and paper? Because I go back and forth. Little pouch. Oh, wow. I mean, we got, got stickers. Everything. So you got all the things when you get the bundle. It's just like. You know, they just want to make I can't it so see much see what fun. next year brings for her. <laughs> so, well, truth be told, I've used the planner for a few years. But this will be first for the daily planner. So sometimes cool. you just have to figure out what works. You yeah, know, it you just do. is a process. And sometimes it's a hybrid of like, you know, you still put events into Google Calendar or whatever. And there's just other more macro level type things you use um, power sheets for. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, check them out. They're mm -hmm. full of great things to keep you on track every year and get those goals checked off. So. Yes. So. And then one, a couple other ones, since it's Small Business mm -hmm. Saturday, all the things. Um, one thing I recent, recently got for our sister, it was her birthday last week, is I had Meet the Source delivered to her. And I put it in stories earlier this morning, so you can check that out. They're doing a giveaway as well. But... It, I've always wanted to get something from them. They're in California, but everything they make is organic. It's uh, not no refined sugars. It's you know soy free, gluten free, dairy free, all the things. And they're just they're like they're raw. They're not baked, but they do like these things called bliss balls, and they're like mm. these little protein ball things but they come up with the most epic flavors like cake batter and mm. red velvet. But it's all great amazing ingredients real food but what I got for my sister was the pumpkin buns and Ooh. she let me have a bite and I was very impressed because I was like well we'll see how this tastes you know a cinnamon roll but I was very impressed it was really good and I would love to get more but they have yeah so many things a lot of seasonal stuff so yeah every season they change the menu and bring out new items um, but yeah, I would definitely check them out if you need like a fun gift to send someone. Um, <clears throat> they're just like unique and like I said, real good ingredients in them. Mm -hmm. And what was that name again? Meet the Source. Meet the Source. Mm -hmm. And as we've also discussed on previous shows, Daydream Desserts, mm -hmm. that's another fun one too. Yes. <laughs> Great that. real food. But yes. like, like I was talking to my other sister about hostess gifts and like she said, it's Food is always just like such a great gift to give. Like everyone likes to try something different and new. And so if you're going to a party, mm -hmm. think about maybe surprising them with a little truffle box or have, you know, send them um, some meet the source bliss balls and you can feel good about it. Cause like mm -hmm. I said, it's real food ingredients and not just, you know, corn syrup candy. So, yeah. and then one uh, other thing, I yes. don't know if you, you have anything else, but I had one other business yes, I wanted ahead. to talk about. It's her name is Vic, Victoria Metaxas, and she is lives in London. She's a photographer. That's like her actual job. But she also started an Etsy shop, and a couple years ago, started following her, and I bought this beautiful picture she took of Paris. I love to I love travel, and I love that this isn't just a picture I found. You know, at Home Goods. Yeah. It's like I personally I don't personally know, but I know the girl that took this, and how cool like. And so this is just one of them. These hangers are actually from Amazon though. And then also this other one I have hanging up. It's just this beautiful doorway with these gorgeous flowers. I think this one was from Italy, I believe. So she says, yeah, obviously where they're from. She has ones for Greece. She has like Christmas portraits of London. Um, but yeah, hers is on an Etsy shop. She's definitely a small business, but it's love to support them. Mm -hmm. We'll put her information below, but that's just another one I really love. Yes. And then um, one last one is the shop forward. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. They are, <laughs> um, you guys have probably heard of them, but they have the four things bags and the four things shirts and you, you can literally put on there whatever four things you want. It could be, um, you know, you love football and coffee and Pumpkin spice Be lattes. Yeah, <laughs> whatever yeah. it is. But you put four things on there. It makes a great gift, which I got for um, another sister one time. But they're these great canvas bags. Great for like a carry-on or the mm -hmm. beach. And they can be personalized, obviously, so that makes it a great gift. I think they are having a sale right now as well. Hmm. But what's great about that company is that they give back. Every purchase you make, they 
pay it forward, shop forward. So they also are big on like if a disaster happens, like the hurricane in Florida recently, they made a shirt up and a proceeds from that went to support people who were devastated by the hurricane. So check them out. They have lots of fun stuff. They have Christmas sweatshirts out now too, mm -hmm. um, but it, that's the shop forward. Yes. So lots of fun places. I mean, a million more online, but these are just you ones we've had some is. personal experience with. Yeah. And I'm sure there's ones that we love and totally spaced. Yeah. So, but anyways, we hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving and enjoying some amazing leftovers and are fueled up and ready to go for the Christmas season. Yeah. Don't forget to tune in to Candace Cameron Bray's uh, movie, which premieres tomorrow, so, yeah. I believe. Yeah. So. And tell us, do you put your, put your Christmas tree up right after Thanksgiving now? Oh, yes. Do you like the question. day after Thanksgiving? Do you go get your Christmas tree? Obviously, mine's already been up. And do you do real or fake? Ooh. So, so real, real, real is questions. great, but fake you can put up way earlier. Mm -hmm. So it's a trade-off. Yeah. So no fire hazards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, right. make well, it a great Saturday, support some small businesses, yeah. and we look forward to seeing you next Saturday. All right, bye-bye.